Hey, what is going on today, guys? So I am here going to be doing a top 10 or let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, top nine, but uh, I mean, top nine, top 10 of uh, worst Walmart shoes or yeah, Walmart footwear that I've ever skated. And uh, yeah, so let's start off with some anti-slip slip on shoes that I have had yeah so these are kind of similar to ones i have now actually which would be oh geez these are all what these ones but Scanners. but uh as you can tell those aren't quite slip-ons but the slip-ons actually weren't the worst thing that at least the anti-slip like restaurant wear ones weren't the worst ones that I've ever worn. Uh, they definitely could have done better, but since they were anti-slip, they definitely had the advantage on grip tape and uh, definitely weren't super, super horrible. Then uh, the next ones up are these sort of Vans looking knockoffs. Um, but yeah, and I'll be putting all the pictures in the corner. But uh, yeah, so yeah, these Vans kind of knockoffs. They weren't too bad. They actually had a very solid sole. And then I wore them to work and then they got trashed like immediately. But uh, yeah, these actually weren't, again, these are fairly low on the list of worst shoes that I've ever skated. But uh, yeah, no, these definitely definitely did pretty good um the soles were pretty hard so that definitely helped them last quite a bit longer but in the scheme of things they just weren't super comfortable they had this weird um memory foam in them which was supposed to conform to your foot but literally after i was done skating them for the day the memory foam there we go memory foam just was kind of garbage and was just toasted immediately after after skating but yeah on to another pair of shoes which would be these what are these faded glories i think these are but uh yeah faded glory shoes these actually have a higher spot in the list just because there was no grip on these shoes whatsoever the insole on them was just horrible and definitely one of the worst slip-ons that I've ever skated, but, um, and I've skated some pretty bad, um, slip-ons. I've skated logs, I've skated target and, uh, all of these slip-ons were just horrible. I don't know if how well you can tell, but, uh, there's in the picture, if you guys want to zoom in then you can tell, but, uh, yeah, there's just no real padding on them. And, uh, yeah, there's just no padding on them. What's so, ever but um then let's go to another pair of shoes these sort of high top slip-ons or no high top slip-ons anti-slip high tops these anti-slip high tops they did great for a while but they eventually just lost grip and like started to chunk out as soon as i started skating them but yeah then uh the leather just got super tore up and they looked like crap. Like literally the first session, they just looked like absolute garbage. And then let's see, another pair of shoes were these red shoes that I have and, or had. And I don't even know. Athletics, like athletics running shoes from Walmart. Um, no grip, absolutely zero grip on the board. Um, just, yeah, not any grip, just walking around, no grip on the shoes whatsoever but um yeah otherwise super lightweight wouldn't be able to take any tricks whatsoever but yeah just not just not a very good shoe then a another really bad shoe for skating was these work boots i don't know if these are even boots but they kind of look like timberlands like if they like a low-cut timberland boots but uh yeah um, just in general, a lot of heel on these shoes. Um, you can make it work if you absolutely had to. But um, yeah, the sole just, it's very, 
very meaty and which I guess is good for like traction, like just walking around, but not on a board because there's less contact points on the board. And uh, yeah, just not very good for skating. The next ones are gonna be these interface, I believe these are interface, inter interceptor, interceptor boots. Um, not a whole lot of grip in general. Uh, use those for work. Not a lot of grip, just walking around in general. But yeah, just not a lot of grip. Got tore up immediately. And so the next one is some steel toe cowboy boots. As you can tell, these are kind of scuffed up in this video. But uh, I mean, they're steel toe. They're incredibly heavy. Just not very good shoes for, or not very good at all for skating. They'll get you by in a work environment, but not very well suited for skating just super super heavy all right and i think that leaves us the last shoes these ten dollar shoes from walmart as you can tell these have quite a bit of sole on them and uh yeah but uh the sole did not last at all but yeah no didn't last at all immediately got ripped up tore up started to just completely chunk out the minute that you skated them. So yeah, wouldn't, so anyway, I wouldn't recommend going to Walmart for your skate shoes, get Vans. Um, even if you just get the style Vans, definitely, definitely very much recommend even just style Vans over Walmart shoes. But other than that, like, comment, follow, and subscribe, and see you guys next video.